Hello everyone. Welcome to Shaping Memories. Happy New Year. And we are in 2023. What a year we had. And welcome to the Monthly Gazette. I hope everyone had a happy Christmas and a happy New Year. So today is the 1st of January. And for the Monthly Gazette, we're going to start with a beautiful quote that I really actually enjoyed. It says, you are never too old to set another goal to dream a new dream by Les Brown. That's a wonderful quote. You're never too old. I completely agree. And for the bird of the month is the owl. Owls with their huge eyes and stoic, patient, knowing faces have long been considered to hold great wisdom. These impressive birds of prey are found nearly all over the world. The exceptions being the polar ice caps and some secluded islands. Owls have large, broad heads, flat faces. Um, they have awesome vision and necks that can turn quite far around as much as 270 degrees to let them completely view their surroundings from a fixed position. Owls are predators that hunt insects, small mammals, and smaller birds. Their sharp talons, silent flight, excellent hearing, depth perception, and vision give them a big advantage when pursuing their prey. So that is the bird of the month. And we have a couple special days for the month. We have New Year's Day, which is today, National Trivia Day, which is January 4th, Epiphany Day is January 6th, Martin Luther King Day, January the 16th, Chinese New Year, the Year of the Rabbit is January 22nd, and National Puzzle Day, January 29th. And for the flower of the month is the carnation. January's flower is the sweet and pretty yet hardy carnation. The carnation dates back to ancient Greek and Roman times when it was used in art and decor. So they also use the carnations for weddings, right? And the birthstone is the garnet. The birthstone of January is the deep red garnet. The gemstone also comes in other colors such as pink, orange, and green. Its name comes from the Latin word granitus, which means seed-like. Hmm. Very interesting. And we also have, it says, take a birthday bow. People born in January branch out differently depending on which day they are born. So for January 1 through the 7th, we have the willow. Strong but fanciful, those linked to the willow tree excel at diplomacy, patience, and friendship. They are a creative, grounded, lot who relish the beauty in the world. Sorry, who relish. And for from January 8th to the 14th, those who come from the fir tree, which is the, the fir tree was I was going to mention, um, they are ambitious, industrious, and mysterious. They have superb taste and love luxurious things. They love luxurious things. They are loyal and take care of those close to them. Uh, we also have the elm from January 15th through the 24th. People who fell off the elm tree are noble-minded, pleasant, and generous. They are natural leaders with ample charisma and do not like to take orders. And the cypress tree, which is from January 25th through the 31st, who fell from the cypress tree are generally content, optimistic, and adaptable. They do not love to be alone and sometimes crave acknowledgement. And you look fabulous. It says, be sure to tell your friends, families, neighbors, and strangers just how wonderful they are on January 24th. And here's why. It's National Compliment Day. Let them know what you appreciate about them. It's sure to make their day. And it's true. You 
give somebody a compliment and it brightens them up. And for the zodiacs of January, we have the Capricorn, January 1st through the 19th, and Aquarius, January 20th through the 31st. In the good old days of January, today's prices seem quite high when you compare them with the things cost a hundred years ago. Back then, the cost of an average new house was $6,000. A loaf of bread was five cents, a dozen eggs cost 47 cents, and a gallon of milk was four, 44 cents. Stamps were two cents. A new car cost about $525 and gas was around 33 cents per gallon. A movie ticket was 15 cents. However, the average income was around only $2,000. Wow, how things have changed. And what's lucky in January? We have the color is purple, the animal is a rabbit, the letters are S and L, the lucky day is Tuesday, and the lucky plant is the ivy. And for the famous birthdays, famous people per birthdays, we have Ian e. Foster, he's an author, Dion Cannon, actress, Danny Thomas, actor, Katie Couric, journalist, Stephen Hawkins, he's a physicist, Andy Rooney, a journalist, Muhammad Ali, a boxer, Mary Ellen McAnally, a poet, Mary Lou Retton, a gymnast, Wolfgang Mozart, composer, Alan Alda, actor, and Oprah Winfrey, talk show host. Those were born in the month of January. Okay, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the Monthly Gazette. Wishing you a Happy New Year once again, and I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more on our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.